Okay, so we have a macro that appends the data to the orders file, but there's a couple of statements in this code that I'm not happy with. For example, when we opened up the orders file mentioned here, and then we went control down arrow, this is the Excel down statement, we went control down arrow, and then we went down one more cell, which effectively took us to A3301, 02, sorry. This I want to get rid of because the next time it won't be A3302 as the list grows. So I'm happy with this control down arrow taking me Excel down, but then I need a statement that just says I want to come down one more row. So I'm going to use the um, offset statement. So I'll take out this and I'm going to put active cell full stop offset and then bracket. And here I say how many rows I want to come down or how many rows I want to go up. If I wanted to go up, say, 10 rows, I'd go minus 10. But if I want to go down one row, then I'll just say 1. And then I put a comma, and if I want to go across so many columns, I could put minus 2, which would take me back two columns, or I could go plus 2, or just 2, which takes me to the right two columns. But because I don't actually want to move any columns, I just put zero. So I'm basically saying, look, and then I'll just go close bracket, full stop, select. So I'm basically saying I want to go control down, and then I want to offset myself one row and no columns. The offset statement is very, very good when you want to relatively move. So that's that first problem solved. Now this next statement down here is a problem as well. Basically the named range database is being applied to or refers to this area here and it's stopping at row 3479 and column 7. Um, yuck. What I'd rather do is just prior to this statement we actually selected the current region and we turned the wiggle off. With the current region selected, we could just say instead of all this, we could say selection full stop name equals database. And that's a much more, um, I think, intelligent way to name that range. We've just selected the range, so name the range database. Now this next statement here, active workbook full stop close, because it doesn't have a save parameter mentioned after the word close, it will always prompt the user if they want to save or not. Now if I want to make that decision for them, then I'll add a space and I'll add a parameter save changes. And I'll set that to either false if I don't want to save the changes, um, or true if I do want to save the changes. And if I don't say true or false, then it will prompt the user whether they want to say the changes or not. So with those changes in place, I now want to test this. I'm going to go up to the procedure import file, and I'm going to run that and bring in December. So F5 and bring in December and OK or open. That brings in December. Fantastic. Then I go to fill labels and I press F5 and that populates all the blanks with the labels. Then I go to add dates and F5 that, and because it's December, I'll go 1 slash 12 slash 00, and OK that, so that puts in the date. Then I go over to append database and press F5 for that, and that has automatically put the data into the orders file. In fact, if I open up orders, I can double check that it now has um, that data added. So if I go to file, and I go to recent, and I go to orders, and I hit control down arrow, that has effectively added that data and closed and saved that file, which is just brilliant. So I'll close this file, file, close, and all of those macros are working perfectly.